Hi everyone, it's Emily, and today I'll be bringing you along with a little bit of a shop with me sort of video where I'll be comparing and contrasting two different websites where you can import Japanese Nintendo Switch games. Now there are a lot of great import titles that do offer language support, including English language support, uh, such as uh, the Shantae and the Seven Sirens Japanese version, um, and Okami HD. And so these are the two imports that I have at the moment. And there are a few more that I've been wanting to pick up for a while now, so let's get into it. So the first website I'm gonna be looking at is PlayAsia. And I think hands down that they're one of the better sites when it comes to researching which games offer different language support. What you could easily just do is go to the games tab here and then select Asia English games. This displays 77 different pages. Um, and this is not only just Switch games, this also includes um, some PS4 and PS5 games and uh, a few others. So we wanted to just narrow this down to Nintendo Switch, like so. And you'll see that there are 17 different pages of English supported uh, Nintendo Switch imports. One of the strengths that PlayAsia has is that they do offer these Asia English releases that other websites like Amazon Japan and some others do not offer, or they're much more expensive than what PlayAsia is offering them for. But for our purposes today, I'm going to just limit this to Japanese versions. All right, so there are a lot of great options and the prices are pretty good for imports. Other nice thing about PlayAsia is that they do offer free shipping if you buy over $99 worth of merchandise. There are some, I think, weight and size restrictions. So if you're buying, for example, a huge scale figure, um, that's not gonna qualify for free shipping, unfortunately. Um, it's gonna be just these small things um, like video games. So from this list, there are a lot of great options here. There are a few different games that I've been wanting in particular. One of them is um, this Ace Attorney Trilogy, which is offered for around $40 right now. And I've also been looking at a few visual novels that um, I think are further in. But um, do be careful with some of the prices here. Some are more expensive than they really should be. For example, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country. Um, they're asking for over $100, which is outrageous. Since these are getting at least North American reprints, um, I don't know about Japan specifically, so maybe they're not getting reprints of these, but PlayAsia does tend to inflate prices for games that are harder to find or going out of print. So just wanted to add that cautionary note. Additionally, imports are also really helpful if you're interested in some of the limited run games or some of the other limited print company physical games. Um, for example, like um, the Shantae and the Seven Sirens that I showed earlier, um, you can get this in English for $40 versus however much is going on on eBay right now or the North American versions. So this is one of the uh, visual novels I was considering. So it's priced at around $63, as well as Steam Prison, which is at $67. So for some of the more niche games like visual novels, um, they do tend to be more expensive than some of these other games um, that are displayed here. And lastly, one of the games I really wanted to get was this one, um, Oninaki. And unfortunately, PlayAsia does not have it in stock at the moment. But um, I'm going to go ahead and add some of these ones that I've been interested in to my cart. So that way we can compare the total to what's available on Amazon Japan after shipping. All right, so if I were to add all three of these games to my cart, as you see here, my total would be around $170 which admittedly is pretty expensive because of these visual novels. So now I'm gonna switch over to Amazon Japan and that's actually where I like to buy most of my Japanese games um, if I can't find them used on a proxy service or something for a cheaper price. So one of the tricky things about Amazon Japan is sometimes you can't always find the games easily. Um, for example, I did Phoenix right, switch. It does come up, as you see here. But usually their search engine is pretty good in that they translate everything into uh, Japanese to optimize your search. But again, this doesn't always work because of uh, the different English meanings and Japanese. So sometimes you have to look up the actual Japanese name, which you can find on PlayAsia in their description, to find them on Amazon Japan. So I went ahead and actually put everything um, in my saved items. So we don't have to look at everything. But when it comes to Amazon Japan, everything's um, in Japanese yen. So when browsing, you have to do the conversion yourself. Um, but I'm gonna move this to cart, this to cart, 
and then steam prism to cart. Um, just to give you an idea of how much um, the total will be in comparison to Playasia. So let's see to check out. And so as you see here, the total is much less than what it was on Playasia, which was close to $170 compared to $125 here. And also if you have a credit card that doesn't have a foreign exchange fee, you could also place your order in Japanese yen. And I found that it's a little bit cheaper than using Amazon's currency exchange here because it does include um, the Amazon fees um, in this rate. The other thing I wanted to point out is this is what the standard shipping rate. So this is sort of Amazon's version of economy, but it does arrive usually within a week or two in my experience. When it comes to PlayAsia's free economy shipping, it does take substantially longer. From what I've seen, it usually takes people maybe three to four weeks to arrive. So they are shipping from Hong Kong, whereas Amazon Japan is shipping from Japan, but I think they're using a slightly faster shipping service compared to PlayAsia. You can upgrade to Priority, which in my experience only takes a few days. It's sort of like Amazon Prime in a way. So today is the 7th. So they're estimating that it'll arrive between September 12th and 13th. And again, this is actually in Japanese time. So in my experience, it does usually arrive a day earlier here in the US because of the time zone difference. And even though this is a little bit more expensive, um, I do tend to go with priority shipping because it's only like $3 more here. So I guess to summarize, I think Amazon Japan is great when it comes to ordering multiple Japanese import games at a time. And when it comes to shipping rate, it actually isn't that much more expensive when adding multiple games. So I'm gonna add um, this game and we'll compare how much it is in shipping. So here you see the shipping did not increase much. It only increased by like 100 yen and um, if you go to priority shipping, again, it's only a few dollars more. So in my opinion, I think Amazon Japan is really the way to go if you're wanting to order multiple games at a single time. However, if you're also interested in some of the Asian releases that um, are really only available on Play Asia. Um, you can also find them on eBay and um, Amazon US, but they tend to be a bit more expensive compared to ordering them directly on Play Asia. So if you wanted to sort of mix your order of Japanese imports and Asian English imports, uh, Play Asia is probably the way to go. And for those who don't live in the US, um, I think Amazon Japan also offers um, an estimate for customs fees that you pay upfront. Um, I don't know if this differs by country, but that's what I've heard from other YouTubers who also shop on Amazon Japan for various things. And lastly, when it comes to buying on both these websites, they do offer other merchandise um, that are not game related that you could also add to your cart. So Play Asia does offer other things like figures that I mentioned before. Um, some of them don't always qualify for the free shipping as a note, but um, I've been really eyeing these look up figures from Digimon, um, mostly uh, Tailmon or Adamon. So I'm actually going to be ordering this, um, I think from Amazon Japan. Um, it was offered on PlayAsia at one point. As you see here, but it's no longer available. Um, so I'm going to edit my cart and I'm planning to get um, this game. Um, I think I'm going to save Steve Prison for now. I think I could wait on that one. Um, and get this visual novel and the Ace Attorney games. So apparently shipping is even cheaper. So I think Steam Prison actually has the wrong size or something associated with it, which made the shipping a bit more expensive. Or maybe it comes with something extra. I'm not totally sure. But um, this figure I think is maybe this big from what I've seen on unboxings. So it's pretty sizable, um, but um, the shipping's pretty cheap. So I'm gonna bump this up to priority. So my total's gonna be around 130. Um, I'm gonna place this in Japanese yen because my credit card offers free foreign transaction rates. Um, so it's gonna be slightly cheaper than what Amazon has. Um, I think I'm just gonna save maybe a dollar or two. So yeah, I'm gonna place this order. It should arrive in the next couple days. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I will be sharing all these goodies um, towards the end of the month when I do my monthly pickup video. And let me know if you guys like this shop with me sort of video. I can make more in the future. There are a few other imports I'm interested in, such as the upcoming River City Girls 1 and 2 um, that comes in English. So I'm still, 
little bit on the fence whether or not I want to get this game since it's not really a genre I tend to gravitate towards, but I heard really good things about this series in particular. So um, I might try to pick this up and it's not that expensive. You may have noticed a few other things that I have saved on my Amazon account. There are some art books like the Steamably Chronicles 2 one, Until I Rise Up 2, uh, Fire Emblem, Fates. Um, I was debating whether or not to get the tea set. Um, looks like I sort of missed out. It might be still available on AmiAmi, Ami, but it's really hard for me to justify paying over $100 for tea and one teacup. So that's why I didn't pre-order this. Um, and then there's some, of course, trails for the books too, and among other things that in the future I'd like to import. So yeah, let me know if you guys like these shop with me sort of videos, or if you would prefer me just to share them like in a haul or something exclusively. But that's everything for this video. Again, I hope this was helpful for any of you. And until my next video, bye guys.